people really have to pay attention to what's going on in this very hot environment. Both extremes of life are the most vulnerable. The middle group are probably those with underlying medical illnesses, but there's also this whole group of people that consider themselves to be the real weekend warrior athletes that say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm tough and I can, uh, I can do better than this. There can be very subtle behavioral things to recognize. People get grumpy oftentimes when they're not fully hydrated. If you think about the, the, the spectrum of heat-related illnesses from heat cramps, heat exhaustion to heat stroke, uh, then the, the cramps would be belly cramps, muscle cramps, um, and just feeling off. The next one, of course, is that people are dizzy when they go from a laying down or sitting position to standing up. Their heart beats real fast. They feel flushed. They look flushed and red. Their skin temperature and moisture will be dry and real cool, but they don't look good. It, it kind of goes against you know, what, what you think they should be if they're having a heat-related illness. What happens first is that it's what we call the central circulation is preserved. The circulation that goes to the heart itself, the circulation that goes to the brain, and the circulation that goes to the kidneys. That's kind of the axis that keeps us functioning well. So it tends to constrict down to the large muscle groups, the skin, um, and that's why the crampiness and sometimes the temperature of the skin will be off compared to what it should be. If, if there's so much loss of fluid that's not being replenished, the blood volume drops, the heart itself isn't as likely to get blood. Therefore, if a person already has decreased blood flow to the heart, they could have a heart attack. Uh, they could have angina, chest pain. And the next step, we've gone through heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and then heat stroke. And of course, stroke, the word itself means diminished circulation to the, the uh, brain, uh, heart, lungs, kidneys, and a person can literally uh, lose their ability to pump blood to their tissues, and it's, we see death from that.